Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, so uh, how many narcissists does it take to screw in a light bulb? One, because that's all they can stand? Close. One. All they have to do is just stand there and hold it in place, and then the world revolves around them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Hey, everybody. Colorful Artie and Marty are back for right. more Ace Attorney. We are on day four. four. Final day. No, it trial. could be that long. This, after the first game, there are no more oh, three day boy. trials. Is Anyhow. it like one day? Or is it like One or two. Days? Okay. No, it, three days is the longest it is. This Anyways, court, courtroom, no, October twentieth. <laughs> is Mia here or is Maya here? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> They're all laughing at our yeah. point. <laughs> you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. I need to, like, hold a straw. <laughs> no smoking in court, Vasquez! <laughs> Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez. I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2? As everyone here knows, yes. I just like needless banter. If you must pontificate, pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <clears throat> the very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Yeah, she tried to kill us with the mafia. She definitely did it. <laughs> right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. She don't she wear, wear no pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> Witness testimony. Day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio 1. I was fatigued, so I had Saul take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Saul and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio 1. That's all. How is she getting away with smoking in court? That should not be allowed. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk with that monkey's head toppling over. Van added to the court record. Uh, I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Couldn't have taken the van because the entire path was blocked. <laughs> well, this was after it was cleaned up. Oh. This is the final battle, Nick! Let's do it! Or was it? <laughs> cross-examination, day of the murder. I, I entered the trailer oh, a little before noon. Who are you holding? By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop at the employee area? No. Are you always this... terse? Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> the meeting began at 12 sharp, it ended at 4. I mean, if I were in court and people were asking me questions, I would probably just say yes or no. Yeah. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. <laughs> come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to... 
Studio One. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? <laughs> no. The meeting ended at 4 o'clock and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5 o'clock. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on! All you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. <laughs> I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Hold on! You had Sal take you? What does that mean? That's slain, Phoenix. Duh. <laughs> it means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh. Oh, right. At 2.30, we took a 15- HOLD IT! <laughs> And where were you during that- what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. <laughs> it? <laughs> Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Hold it! Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. N no I mean someone else? One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat the steak... Well, Nick? Find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said, somewhere. So do you know what it is? Uh, it's something... can we look at the plates? It's something you have brought up multiple times. Ate the all the bones? Is that it? That might be it. She ate the bones? Or does that mean she dumped it? Maybe she dumped it. <laughs> you wanna so try it? <laughs> Vasquez is just like, I ate T-bone steaks with the bone in it. <laughs> <laughs> I ate a T-bone steak with the bone. <laughs> That's how tough I am. Yeah. He eats nails for breakfast. Fist. Do you want to try that? Uh, but that's not the same- Oh, is that the same one? No, it's, was... it's not, but it's a plate. We didn't get the other ones as evidence. Aw, oh, stupid. What else do we have? Um, we have the van. No. We've got the sleeping pill bottle. Nope. The five-year-old photo. Nope. Uh, Cody's camera, oh, probably no. not. Path to no. Glory, uh, Mr. Monkey's no. head, the samurai spear. No. Guide map. Powers photo? The autopsy report and most important evidence of all our attorney's badge. Yeah, okay, probably the plate. Alright, wanna try that? Sure. Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak? But I say you did not. W what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate? This plate was on the table in the employee's room. As you can see, a large bone was left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? <laughs> exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manila ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet, there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. <laughs> Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You ate the bone too! <laughs> you ate the bone too! Oh, um, Nick, are you sure? I mean, I love steak, but even I don't eat the bone! Hey, I don't eat it either! Mr. Wright, I too leave the bone. Um, can I try that again? <laughs> I think I know how. Elementary, you were eating a bone with steak! <laughs> Mr. Wright, say you are right. What would that prove? <laughs> um, right, your honor. <laughs> Nick! Remember her testimony? She said uh, she ate it. <laughs> <laughs> she said she nice. ate a T-bone steak. <laughs> nice typo there. She said she ate a T-bone steak. She said bone. Correct. I was testing you. Yeah, sure, Nick. Sorry, can I try that one more time? I think I know how. You didn't eat any steak during that break! You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator! I... I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? 
She was picking on Mr. Manila! <laughs> Mr. Wright, sometimes this court finds it hard to tell whether you are joking or being serious. Oh? I would prefer it if you remain serious. Y yes, Your Honor. I'll do my best. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai! Oh, she's tall. That's bad posture, Vasquez. <laughs> or, uh, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. <laughs> I like her damage animation. Me too. M Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was, worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the Samurai Spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. With ties to the Mafia! <laughs> She's not small! She was super tall! But she was really skinny. How could I possibly With... use that heavy spear as a weapon? <laughs> the thing is, she's really skinny. Probably mean... because of the chain smoking. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, she, like the Cruella de Vil of this day and age. But here's the deal. <laughs> I think you could. You couldn't, could you? I don't know. Great choices here. Well, I don't know. It depends on how heavy the spear is. If it's like 20 pounds, I don't know. But if it's like... It's, it's established to be very heavy in that, like... Only Buck Pe Penny could, could barely it. lift it, basically. But Penny has really, really small arms. So did, does Vasquez. Vasquez has more muscle than her. A little bit. Alright. She's also tied Which to should, What should we say, basically? Uh... Should we just get... I don't know. I don't know, probably. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? What kind of a lawyer are you? Quiet. I'm speaking. <clears throat> you don't know? What kind of a lawyer? I don't know whether you could have fought with the samurai spear. Oh, oh, never mind. That actually was the right thing to do. Oh. <laughs> it's not impossible. Well, maybe it's not impossible, but... Silence. I'm speaking. <laughs> Edgeworth, poor Edgeworth's not getting to do anything. The victim was stabbed through the chest from the front, yes. I believe this would indicate that the victim was aware of the killer's presence. Now, the Steel Samurai costume is quite light and mobile. Compared to the victim, I am weaker and slower. I couldn't possibly win such a fight. Not to mention there's proof that I did not have the spear. The photograph of the Steel Samurai shows that the victim himself was holding it. Or do you mean to suggest that I could have wrestled it away from him? Y yeah take that right! If you still think she did it, show us proof. Um, uh... Hey Nick, look at the data we have on the samurai spear in the court record. Isn't there something in that spear that gets to you? Something- Some Something odd about the samurai spear? Wait! Something the matter, Mr. Wright? S sorry Your Honor. I'd like to take back my previous claim. Very well, I won't hold you to your claim. But I'm afraid I will have to penalize you. Ugh. <laughs> you couldn't. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? what? <laughs> That's not you. Oh, come on. You've sp said my lines True, a few times. I have. What is I the meaning something. of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Which I mean, photo. Which photo? Uh, no, wait. The other photo? That wouldn't make any sense. Cody's camera! No, it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong, Mr. Wright. 
But I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now to know when you're going to present the wrong evidence. <laughs> I can sense it too with my fey blood. Okay, okay, so I picked the wrong evidence. Enough of all the sensing. Right, okay, here's the real evidence, Your Honor. <laughs> what do you think it is? The fan! She ran him over with the fan! This <laughs> is <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Even though this completely contradicts the autopsy report. <laughs> Pierced through chest by a spear. But that had to have been. Break and shaft has been mended with duct tape. Look at the picture. The duct tape is over the pointy end. Yeah. Let's do that. You pointed that out, like, immediately, pretty much. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. B but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember, this this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. Oh, no. <laughs> she fixed it with some duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Uh, order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're- Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <laughs> are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can't tell you, it's a secret. <laughs> I don't know, so we'll just try both, I guess. Of course I can't. Uh, of course? Can the antics, Wright? I have to agree, Mr. Wright. At least pretend that you think you might know. <clears throat> Note to self, think before speaking. Tough crowd. Well, Mr. Wright? <laughs> Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Very well, let's see this murder weapon, then. Well, my journey's back! The monkey head, that would be ridiculous. Do <laughs> you want to try it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Nick! Think about this some more! Huh? Think? <laughs> <laughs> Please! How could that possibly have been the murder weapon? Hmm, she has a point. Something the matter? N no, Your Honor! Nothing! Very well, let's see this murder weapon, then. Mm. Uh, the only plausible one here is the van, which sounds bad, <laughs> but it's not the van. <laughs> Staff. Wait, oops. Well, that was the right one. Oops, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Look at this photo. Wh what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs! Order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is all this about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. She wears way too much makeup. That's like 90% of the people in the series, yeah, I feel really like. Does. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die? Five years ago! Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Ho ho. Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? 
Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of the argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One? And returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? With the van! The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes, from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time! Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She couldn't deal with it. I bet she could move it. She had another way. I mean, she had another way, but let's what, try the others. What, what, what is the other way? The other way? The dude, dude was like, she's like, oh, I feel so fatigued. Ugh, take me in the van. Oh. And then she just like stuffed the body in the trunk <laughs> or something. Okay. 15 minutes is kind of a short amount of time. You see, even I cannot do the impossible. Therefore, Mr. Wright, I didn't do it. Agreed. Not agreed. What if she had another way to carry the botter? Other. The botter? <laughs> the botter! <laughs> botter otter <laughs> here! <laughs> what if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? Let's go back, because we're going to skip something. <laughs> You'd be surprised! I bet she could do it! <laughs> when people think their life depends on it, they can do amazing things! Very true! <laughs> Mr. Wright, this is not an episode of That's Incredible! <laughs> I'm so glad we went back. <laughs> if you claim she did everything in 15 minutes, let me guess. Show me proof. Correct. Show me proof. How am I supposed to do that? Then I won't have you making unsubstantiated claims. Wait a second. How does he know what I'm thinking? Ha! I need only look at the cold sweat running down your face to know what you're thinking. That's creepy. Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to reconsider your claim? She didn't know What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own bare hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. <laughs> Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright? Oh. Please show us how she carried the body. I bet I know how she did it. Okay. What? I bet what she did is she was like, ugh, I have to go back in and finish my meeting. She, like, dumped it in the back of the van. And then, like, when they were going to go over and check, she's like, ugh, oh, oh, I'm so fatigued. Ugh, <laughs> oh, take me in the van. And then, like, just dump the body off. Oh, very interesting. Team <laughs> Team play! <laughs> Team Vasquez used this to carry the body to Studio One. She brought it on a pond! <laughs> Mr. Wright... Your Honor, Mr. Wright, how can you carry a dead body with a plate? <laughs> um, please rethink your statement. Man, I, they're not penalizing us for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the studio van to do it. She'll be like, oh, but the path was blocked. <laughs> Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had salt in me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. I like how she has two different, like, damage animations. Me too. Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he was, or of course he wasn't. How well... Do you how, think he knew the body was in there? Okay, how big is the dead guy? He's big. Like, he's, he's power big. size. He must have been then. Because, like, she's like, Ugh, I'm so... I'm a woman. I can't carry this by myself. <laughs> I need some... D. Vasquez dude. is not a feminist. <laughs> she's like, I, no, I need a man to have... Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, she'd have, like, her bodyguard dudes like, hey... <laughs> that was not a win for the feminism. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Of course he wasn't. Ha! Huh. So, without Mr. Manella noticing anything, she put the body in the van, then managed to put the body into the costume. Are you seriously suggesting that is possible? Of course I'm not serious. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I was kidding! To er, lighten up the proceedings! <laughs> Light? 
Lighten? You, you can't lighten up a murder! <laughs> Mr. Wright, the court requests you refrain from making claims in jest. Y yes your honor <laughs> Of course Salmonella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Ms. Vasquez could have done that alone. Cause I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't forget they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Oh, that's why it was so bad and disgusting. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I... Uh, I win? Um... So, what happens next? Don't... Me? Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Well, wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did it? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right! But, that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 <laughs> Turns out it's just the ooh, you my powers. You my powers. You powers. You G. W T F. Order, Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? She just hired um, me off the uh, mm, uh, of, of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions. I'll be leaving. <clears throat> what do I do now? You did it, Vasquez. Testify again, Vasquez, or no further questions, Vasquez. Well, if it's no further questions, then that's, like, the <laughs> it. You did it? What is that supposed to mean? It's like, yeah, you, hope! You're the murderer! Oh, I, I was thinking of, like, you did it! Woohoo! Oh, uh, like, you did it, Vasquez! You testified! <laughs> <laughs> you're giving her, like, a nice pat on the back after <laughs> she, like, like <laughs> tried to erase you from the mafia. Right. <laughs> Let's try that. Miss Vasquez, you did it! That wasn't a question. <laughs> um, did you do it? <laughs> no. Mr. Wright, y yes, Your Honor? I'm not sure that question helped this court get any closer to a verdict. Ugh, what do I do now? Testify. I- I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? know when to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I've said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions and get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn! Damn! It's come so far, only to fail. Yes, Mr. Wright? I was hoping I'd come up with a question while pounding on my desk. I didn't. You have my sympathies. <laughs> that was worth it, wasn't it? Yes. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Very well. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why do you 
Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Mm, uh, well, yes, um... Indeed, verily, I say, ergo... I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hm. Nick! Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it, too. But... but... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth... It does seem out of character Ugh, for him. now here I go again. I think this is the last testimony. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there, too. Only Powers was absent. Oh, look who it is! That's right! It's totally Salmonella! <laughs> Oh yeah, it is. He's got a newspaper in his back pocket. Interesting. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady old bag was quite agitated, pointing at Powers saying, He did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Well, we found her, and then she, like some sort of sound happened. She was like, Ugh! And then Okay, we like, I'll be honest. They never ever reveal what that is. What?! That's stupid. I think it's like, I think she must have like, my theory is like she dropped her cigarette stick and like it burned her foot. She's like, Argh! That's a great, that's a great theory. Otherwise I was thinking like if she ate the bones for her steak, it was like, Argh! it's junk. No, I was thinking like, You were so thing. adamant, like, you're, they ate the bones. I'm like, yes! I was just like trying not to crack up because I'm like, that's an option you can say. They totally ate the bones. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Really close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Okay, we will be able to get for this in one episode. It'll yeah, be a fine. longer than average episode, that's but fine. that's alright. I was with the blah 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 Hold it! <laughs> what time was that? <laughs> We went to meet at 5 p.m. for the rehearsal. You and gotta, I smoked yeah. so much that I coughed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the cigarettes. <laughs> so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manila arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Press harder. Hold back. Get Come back. On. Go, Charizard. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They were, weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh? What did I just say? Did I not say I wasn't stuffing bo any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. B boy The witness will continue her testimony. Oh, wrong one. Wait, did- oh, did I not make a safe state there? Um... I think there was this one. I'd better leave this one be. I'm sure she'd see through anything I had to throw at her anyway. Okay, I messed up my safe states there, but thankfully... <laughs> thankfully we didn't have to replay too. anything. Only Powers was absent. She was doing the backdrop stuff. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm? You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. <sighs> uh, make a new one. And press harder. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around. You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers did not really stand out. 
We often left him on the bus while I'm shooting at location. No one noticed if he was missing. Wow. Poor powers. <laughs> hmm, well I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. I'll hold off. She'd just blow off anything I had to say anyway. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally wrapped up the scene. Okay, are you telling me it's like, oh my gosh, it's a dead body. Let's stare at it for 15 minutes. That'd be I really mean, weird. I mean, I, I understand it's a dead body and you're like shocked. You're in shock, but But like, yeah. I, if that were, if it were me and I was like, holy cow, I would be like running away from it. <laughs> and then it's like, that's why me. are you running away from the dead body? You probably did it. Sure. No, I would be the one that's accused of murder. <laughs> sorry. Sorry I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. Why would they arrest him? Wouldn't they arrest literally anyone at the scene? <laughs> Silent. Hey, hey, Nick! Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up! <laughs> Let's show off our secure uh, our attorney's badge. I almost said our security badge. Old bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right. The steel samurai. I forgot how many times you can press harder. <gasps> Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? This is so boring that I'm yawning. Perhaps <laughs> not. She seemed to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. Here's the deal. She was just like hanging out in her like trailer, like da -da -da -da. <laughs> like for two for the first entire day. I feel like she would have been questioned if she was found there. <laughs> also, does she have tattoos on her arm, or is that, like, design? You decide. Just what would it be of? I don't know. Clouds. <laughs> Black <laughs> clouds. Otherwise, I don't know. Like the clouds that are going to be Otherwise in her lungs, like because of all smoking like... cigarettes! <laughs> oh, she's not known for exhibiting the best senses of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm, I don't think there's anything in there I can use. <sighs> Her voice is so low! Yeah, I'm watching the crowd. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. We were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us covered for you, or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot riding on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. Oh. <laughs> so you weren't questioned? That's correct. I find these things distasteful. <laughs> yeah, press hard. <laughs> Thinking back to when we first began this trial, we were under the impression that there were no one in the trailer at all. There I were suppose. no one. <laughs> Why is that? Well, we were in a meeting the whole afternoon. What's the point of talking about that to the police? She's got to be the least guilt-ridden guilty person I've ever met. <laughs> you have to find something to peg this on her here. Everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him! We never did that one, I was yeah. going to say. The script in your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't have do to have them get stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second! I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal! Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? Why? There was a murder after all. But you didn't know that unless if you dumped his body in your van and <laughs> took it over! <laughs> who could have think who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? 
he literally thinking to defense here? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She wouldn't have had to know about she would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. <laughs> he gets the corner music now. Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good ex reason to believe that there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Is it Mr. Muggy? Very well then. <laughs> the witness will change her testimony to, to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Except she wasn't at the rehearsal! Boom. Objection! You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers! Wh what? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez? You heard Mr. Manella wrong, or you saw him wound me? Uh, <laughs> I thought Mr. Manella was just gonna tell her wrong. Okay. You must have heard Mr. Manella wrong. Even though he said Mr. Powers was injured, you thought he was talking about Mr. Hammer! Now that you mention it. Yes, I believe you're right. I'm sure that's what happened. Yeah! Nick, you're supposed to be putting her on the spot, not helping her out! Oh, right. I kind of talked myself out of that one, didn't I? Quick! Start over! Miss Vasquez? Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manila. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes! Yes, but... Wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg, too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! Oh! And when was he doing this? Well, it would have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly! Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I will have order! Witness? Can you refute this claim? <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Er, why are the real killers always so... persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? It doesn't matter! We just proved your way on the show now you did it! <laughs> yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Except the Mafia, maybe. Hmm... Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Oh, yeah. I can... Okay. I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. The previous photo, right? This is my pr Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Hang on. 
<laughs> we didn't do the wrong ones. Nick, no! Saying you can't prove it now would be admitting defeat! She'll get away! But, but what proof could I possibly have? I don't care if it's impossible, you still have to fight this one! Ugh. Okay, I have proof and I'll show it to you. I forgot to present the wrong evidence here as well. Psst, Maya, look, this is it! Why? Why are you showing that to me, Nick? And why are you whispering? I was just testing it out on you. Huh. Well, I'm afraid your test results are negative. Mr. Wright? Y yes, Your Honor. Hurry up with okay. it! I'm just imagining them like, da -da 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 -da, and like, Mr. like Wright's like, Hey, hey, Maya, look at this. Isn't this cool? <laughs> we have a certain tempo we have to maintain here. Same with our videos. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Right, here goes. I present to the court. Do, 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 do. This is my proof. This is the photo from before? This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial, it began on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez and not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no reason to kill him. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Oh, a win for Verminus! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Reveal evidence or she had no motive. Uh, I mean, she had evidence. Reveal the evidence. Okay. Allow me to present to the court evidence proving Miss Vasquez's motive. Dang it! If it's <laughs> if it's like she has no motive, she's just a terrible person. Then that's really bad. actually she's just a psychopath. What's her motive? The van. He stole her van. <laughs> just do it. This, this is my proof, and this tells us why Miss Vasquez <laughs> wanted to kill Mr. Hammer. I'd say it all proves that the defense attorney is completely mossed as marbles. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, the court requests that you find your marbles immediately. And I'm afraid I have to penalize you for this waste of the court's time. About time. Jeez Louise. Nick, we're so close. Get this one through, please. Mr. Wright, I'll ask you again. It's actually she had no yeah, motive. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like... She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? Well, dang. It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor? Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him for all those years. Wow! Don't smoke, Stop kids. Stop smoking! So, you did do it, didn't you? I'm really mad that you made me break my smoking pipe thing. What was it, a pipe? Or was it just like the weird... I don't know it was it a hookah. I don't, hookah? I don't, okay. No, I don't think it was. Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! 
Th there's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. This is you. What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No. No! How could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and. No! Manuel! Manuel! D don't touch him! Miss Vasquez! No! P please. Please don't die. Please. I mean, that would be freaky, like, freaky if she was, like, whatever with him. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. So that, that little scene there adds a lot more depth to her character, A lot more depth, and kind of makes more sense why she's like, Well, I'm with the Mafia now! <laughs> <laughs> also, it's like, wow, Jack Hammer was a terrible person! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I- <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers... NOT GUILTY! Woo! Hey, you've got bad posture, too. <laughs> Well, I would feel like anyone would have bad posture if they're on trial for murder. Fair enough. That is all. This court is adjourned. Hooray! Yay! We're here! Hooray! October 20th, 1, 12 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but... it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume, it's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder? It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. H huh Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? I don't know, or show evidence. Uh... So this is like the bonus evidence he presented Shoot, to you, basically. but I don't know! You don't um, know? Why did he want to blame him? Because well, he got a better part? But, like, I don't know how to show the evidence for it. I guess we'll never know. Y yes, of course. Phew! I'm not sure I wanted to go down that road. Congratulations! <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Alright, show evidence. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... He wasn't an attorney like me! <laughs> S sorry what does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean, Maya? Um, Nick, you know that, that problem of yours? Where you present evidence that makes no sense. You're doing it again. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> so do you really not know what it is? Or because he had a better part? Because he had more fans. You want to try that? Sure. It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. Yay! So am I. Right. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh, oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Is... something wrong? No! Of course not! Ah! Nick! Hedgeworth! Whoa. He's looking mad. Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um... That was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, oh, uh, pleased to meet you, I'm Powers. <laughs> ah, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. LIAR! <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. What? Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary... feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes. Unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Well, what a nice guy! So they must have known each other in the past. Um, Mr. Wright? Is this guy your friend? No, I'm wondering, I'm trying to speculate this. Is it like, they were friends in school, or is it like, no, this is the idiot who, like, tried to beat me up at school, and so now I'm trying to get revenge? <laughs> oh, or is it like, Or is it like they met somewhere dumb they, or they something? They went to church together. <laughs> to church? <laughs> Can you imagine Edgeworth at church? I actually could. You could? I don't I, think I, I could. I could see him being, like, an elder. Like, the guy who hands out the tithes and offers. Oh, no, <laughs> so, he's not that social. He'd be, like, or the usher. If like, he's anyone, he'd be, like, in the back at the sound booth, like, Edgeworth? I don't think so. <laughs> also, Hiding. well, actually, no, I, I won't spoil it just yet. There's one thing about Edgeworth's character that, like, after you know it, going back here, you're like, oh, interesting. Edgeworth's like, he dropped my ice cream! <laughs> now I'm mad at him! <laughs> <laughs> what? Friends? As if? They're rivals! Rivals! Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me, what's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closes on another trial. Boo! I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, <gasps> Global Studios refought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. And Maya's happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. Is Maya in it? You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? How is he a princess? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real willpowers. That's a little mean. I want to see... No! I wanted to see actual parts of the show! No, no way. The end. Imagine the pr pink princess like, A brand new episode has been added! I fight for love and for justice! Turnabout goodbyes. But there's another trial after that, right? I thought there were five. There are five, but keep in mind, this Turnabout Goodbyes was the last case in the Game Boy Advance version. Oh. So that's gonna be a pretty epic case. That's a case where it's like, it starts out really slow. And then after, like, the first trial period, it, like, uh, gets really good. Cool. So, really look forward to that. Oh, let's see the picture from before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I look so amazing with my pipe. <laughs> the oh, pipe's my not gosh. Even in <laughs> Damn, <laughs> sweet. I like how Cody and Maya are... <laughs> An old bag looks, like, demented in the lower right. And lower. here I am. I'm not really in it, but you can sort of see my face. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Anyhow, to, uh, next episode we'll go to Turnabout Goodbyes. Look forward to that. It's a great case. Until we meet again, I guess. Artie and Marty, peace and out. Have a Woo! great day and God bless.